that at least tomorrow. Not mm. too much of a chance of rain, but should we make plans indoors for Mother's Day just in case? You know, if you have plans in the morning, yes, but in the afternoon it looks to be a little drier, at least, okay. yes. So it'll be in the 80s, it'll be mostly cloudy, but a lot drier towards the end of the weekend for mom. So get ready for that. And also get ready for the northern lights. Not so much here in Texas, unfortunately. Now we saw a few photos earlier yesterday near Johnson City, Austin, Central Texas, where it was low on the horizon. Now the specific forecast for tonight and through tomorrow night as well, it's still going to be an, an historic solar storm. This is also leading to northern lights across from much of the U.S. But for tonight and tomorrow night, it will retreat farther north as it typically does. And the lights will be the highest in visibility in North Dakota for parts of the Pacific Northwest. Parts of Lake Michigan towards Minnesota, and we have this line right here to represent the low horizon view that could happen as low as uh, Oklahoma, parts of Kansas. But again, it's an historic solar storm where if you're on social media at all, you'll see these photos online and on air as well. Outside right now, it's mostly cloudy. That's why we're not going to see much. We have a lot of low to mid to high level clouds across Texas right now. And some of them look like rainmakers and radar is quiet in the city, but farther north you go, you get you get in on some action. A severe storm has been moving through parts of central Texas near San Saba, east of Brownwood, south of Hamilton, along 281 towards I-35. So obviously this is far removed from San Antonio, but it just shows how conducive the atmosphere is for isolated storms. And that's what we're expecting overnight into early Mother's Day. Isolated activity, mostly light to moderate rain, but there could be an isolated storm around, especially west of Bear County. Outside right now, downtown San Antonio, 76 to 77, depending on where you're at. Winds are a little breezy from the east and northeast. That's keeping the humidity in check. It feels pretty comfortable outside with temperatures in the 80s out west. Hondo at 81, 84 at Carrizo Springs, 85 at Del Rio, and 77 for areas east of Bear County. Tonight's forecast, we look to be mostly cloudy and quiet and comfortable. Middle 70s by about 10. Winds still a little breezy. Upwards of 10 to 15 miles an hour at times. Mother's Day looks to be good, but just to reiterate again, a chance for a few morning showers, maybe a morning isolated storm, not out of the question. Towards the afternoon, we trend drier. Highs will be in the 80s. Very comfortable weather, just on the cloudy side. Out west, though, you can see a severe weather threat, a level 1 out of 5. Same thing for Sunday night into Monday morning. Here's what it could look like by tomorrow, 5, 6, 7 a.m., a couple of isolated uh, pockets of rain around through about 8 and 9 a.m. Most of the afternoon trending drier, and that'll be this case for Sunday night into Monday morning, mostly overnight activity as some of these disturbances move across the nation. Our seven-day forecast for Mother's Day, 87, 93 Monday, 94 Tuesday. A lot of sunshine expected for most of next week and daily rain chances. Uh, best chance at a few storms Wednesday night and a Thursday morning, but for Mother's Day, cloudy, best chance at rain in the morning and drier and 87 in the afternoon.